It's not just a clash of narrative. Remember, it's also the clash of castes and electoral blocks. Uh, it's fascinating. What you mean by the BJP-JDS alliance on the ground, uh, Vasudha, is really uh, the Lingayats, who are considered the largest electoral block of Karnataka, and the OBC Vokaliga caste coming together. And on the other side, the Congress hoping that DK Shiv Kumar will be able to hold on to the Vokaliga vote, and Siddharamaya could ensure an Ahinda vote consolidation. It's a fascinating test for both sides in the old Mysuru region in especially about eight of the 14 seats of the old Mysuru region seats like Mandia seats like Bengaluru rural seats like Chamarajnagar seats like Mysuru where these grassroots equations are essentially crucial the uh, test of the JDS BJP Alliance I traveled through these regions yesterday and here's a report trying to decipher how it's playing out at the grassroots with the big faces from the three parties Mandia is a Lok Sabha constituency that's iconic for the power of the OBC Vokaliga vote, which is concentrated in about 8 of the 14 Lok Sabha seats in the old Mysuru region, 12 of which will vote in phase 2. In 2024, it's a decisive test here for JDS state president and former chief minister H.D. Kumaraswamy who's from the Vukkaliga caste and is campaigning hard after forging an alliance with the BJP. His party, which was once known for its hold over the caste vote, lost all seven assembly segments here to the Congress in the 2023 assembly polls. And it's that dismal performance that has pushed him to ally with the BJP, which he had in the past declared as a bitter enemy. Uh, the JDS BJP workers have been fighting at the grassroots how do you expect the vote? Here in Mandia, both BJP and JDS workers with mutual understanding, not only workers, leaders also, they are with mutual understanding, they are doing their work with hard work. So in Mandia, people are very much, they are actually, they are doing their work with very much response. They wanted to win this seat with huge margin. In 2019, Kumaraswamy's son Nikhil contested as the Congress JDS Alliance candidate but was defeated by the rebel Congress candidate who was backed by the BJP, Sumalata. It's a reminder of the slippery grassroots equations in Karnataka politics where vote shares on paper don't necessarily add up to reality. Mandya is absolutely an essential prestige battle for the JDS and for HD Kumaraswamy. 2019 was a hit at the party's core respect when it lost the seat here and this time it's about regaining that. The man who's credited with breaking the JDS's Vokaliga hold is the State Congress President and Deputy Chief Minister DK Shiv Kumar, who's also from the same caste. His brother, D.K. Suresh, is the incumbent Congress MP from the neighbouring Bengaluru rural seat. And the BJP has fielded Kumaraswamy's brother-in-law, Manjunath, against him. Clearly, this is an election that's a bitter personal battle between Shiva Kumar and the JDS over the Vokaliga vote. JDS, BJP together is a very strong force in old Mysuru region. I am telling you where Mr. Deve Goda family has contested all these three seats. All will win by the Congress party. It is sure. That is why the fear of the defeat. Deve Goda has asked his son in law to contest on a BJP symbol. So BJP uh, is, they have given a seat to a BJP. That means JD will be, JDS will be no more in the future. The Congress's candidate against Kumaraswamy is a wealthy local businessman, Venkat Ramane Gowda, popularly called Star Chandru, who has the financial muscle to take the fight to Kumaraswamy. While the BJP is known to have a strong Lingayat sect base, which is considered Karnataka's largest electoral bloc, the alliance with the JDS is a coming together of the Lingayats and Vokaligas, the two dominant electoral blocs, to ensure vote transfer is the key challenge. 
JDS BJP alliance in 2019 the congress had an alliance it looked great on paper but it didn't gel in the grassroots it didn't work in the grassroots what's different this time are you worried that this may not you know vote transfer may not happen at the grassroots see why did JDS come to NDA because former prime minister Devagoda ji on umpty number of occasions he had publicly has said the way Narendra Modi ji is taking this country forward we should support Narendra Modi ji for one more term as Prime Minister. So this has made, uh, this has forced JDS party to come into the folds of uh, NDA. So in Karnataka, there is absolutely, there is a clear coordination here on ground between BJP and JDS. Workers are working together, both Bharatinta party and JDS. And even people, they are feeling that BJP and JDS is a natural alliance. On the Congress's side, the party hopes Siddharamaya, who's not from the two dominant electoral blocs, can bring about a counter-consolidation of votes, known as the Ahinda vote, or one that brings together all other sections. And Shivakumar's task is to retain the Vakkaliga vote. For the Congress party, it's a formidable challenge to take on a BJP-JDS alliance in this old Mysuru region, the caste arithmetic and the grassroots equations that it brings along. If it can pull off a victory in several of the seats in this region, it would be a huge shot in the arm for a party which is already on a high after that tremendous victory in the assembly elections. But if it loses here, then it would upset many delicate equations at the state level. In Mandya, with video journalist DM Kumar, Vida Raghav for NDTV.